guys, tonight we are going to be reviewing the comic book Moon Knight by Warren Ellis. My name is John Iverson and I go to Wayne State University and I'm in a English class and we are studying the comic book Moon Knight. Mark Spector, also known as Moon Knight, was originally a mercenary who worked for an African mercenary and they were on an expedition in Egypt and they came across an Egyptian temple and there was a statue of a guy named Tanshu and some other goods there and the crew fought over it and Mark Spector ended up dying and Kanshu, from the statue of Kanshu, uh, gave him a chance to resurrect again if he would come back as Kanshu's avatar on Earth and Mark Spector took that opportunity and that's where Moon Knight comes from. So in Moon Knight, the art is very abstract and it's very unique to the comic book itself and it really keeps the reader in the comic book um, because when they're looking at the book, they notice Moon Knight right away compared to everything else. And um, I'll show you an example right here. Because Moon Knight is just completely white and everything else is kind of colored and there's a lot of different color schemes going on, but even within all that, Moon Knight is always just this really white highlighted figure. And so in these panels, you can tell that there's a lot of red and a lot of darks. And then Moon Knight kind of contrasts himself out of that. And it really brings the reader's eye more onto Moon Knight and into the comic, I feel. So that's initially what I get out of the artwork. So back to the art um, in Moon Knight. The art was done by a man named Declan Chalvet. I think that's how you say it. And in this page and in these series of pages in this issue you can kind of get the sense of him trying to do something specific to the reader so as you go through the pages in this issue the panels kind of disappear one by one and in some cases more than one panel and it's leading up to the main event of this issue which was very interesting to me and what that did while I was reading it was kind of anticipate that and throughout the whole thing I kind of ended up looking for clues as to what was going to happen because as I was going on I realized that there was going to be one panel at the end so I think that Declan Shelby does a really good job of trying to get the reader to think and kind of um, explore the panels um, the way he wants the reader to. One more example of the art and this one panel really stuck out to me more than others because it kind of just shows um, this man in Moon Knight standing at this door but from what I see here it really looks a lot different from the way he's drawn to how he's drawn and not really because of the lines but just because of the color and he kind of looks Moon Knight looks out of place of the art that's being represented right here. It's more of a realistic feel here and then Moon Knight kind of looks like this 2D figure and he stands out um, almost a little too much compared to everything else which is what he was going for throughout the comic. And so that's another kind of observation I made. And overall the art in this was um, Overall, the art was really good, and I liked it a lot. It was one of my favorite aspects of the comic. So in Moon Knight, in one of the issues, um, mental health really stands out to me more than the others, because in this issue, Moon Knight is basically going through a series of floors, and what I got from that is that each floor can represent an internal struggle that Moon Knight has with himself. So not each floor gives an apparent internal struggle and they're not really clear as to what he's fighting and maybe some of them aren't but in terms of these two panels or pages um, it's randomly just pink and that stands out more so than anything else in these pages and that can be maybe interpreted as an eternal struggle with him and his sexuality which is it could be a stretch but at the same time that could be something deep-seated that 
Warren Ellis wanted to try to get across. And I think that the floors are a really cliche way of expressing someone trying to battle things within themselves. So each floor has someone who's unique and different. And this one, he's battling someone in a suit. So I think that there could be a lot of interpretations with each enemy on each floor. And at the end, he kind of gets to his end goal. And that could be taken in a very um, in various ways, so I think the book itself doesn't really make it apparent that mental health is the main aspect around it, but I do think in some issues that mental health can be deep-seated within it and taken away from it, and it's just up to the reader to decide what is really going on mentally and what is not. Overall, I really enjoyed Moon Knight. Um, I'd give it a perfect score because of the fact of the artwork is really something I liked a lot, as well as the mental health aspect. And I think if anyone is a fan of the mental health genre itself and the type of psychology that revolves around certain books, I think that this comic um, is a really good one. And I do recommend it to everyone if you've just started reading comics or if you have been just introduced to the discourse community that comics are in, um, I would recommend this book. Moon Knight was... damn it. Balls. Moon Knight is, uh... fuck! He looks very spray tanned.